All right, g'day everyone. I wanted to uh, share with you one of my hobbies, and that is Vampire the Eternal Struggle. It's a card game. So much more than that. Pretty much spent a lot of my gaming time with Vampire the Eternal Struggle and Vampire the Role Playing Game, and really immersing myself in the culture for it. So when I tracked down a previous player and a play tester for the game and found out that he was selling just about everything that he had, um, I just had to talk to the guy and finally came to an agreement to get everything that he had. So if you're an enthusiast for Vampire the Eternal Struggle or just the World of Darkness in general, I think you're really going to love the stuff that I've been able to bring into Australia and make part of Midian Gaming. I really want to show these to people, put these up and maybe make a wall of appreciation for the game. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing and how I'm gonna be presenting it yet, or maybe just some cabinets. All right, so this is a signed print for Celerity Card. Very good. I believe that's by the, um, now I've gotta go into it and see exactly whether they're signed by the person that did the picture or a player or anyone else. But I believe this one would be by the artists themselves being framed as such. So that's one of them. I'm just gonna try making work as I present everything. All right, now Agrippina, there's her card. And there's an original sketch for Agrippina signed by the artist, uh, Brian Snoddy. So yeah, absolutely fantastic example of some original art. And I've really wanted stuff like this in the past, but never been able to do it. But now I'm pushing resources, my own money, <laughs> um, to actually get stuff for myself for this. Okay, so we've got Milo, the Invisible Horror, uh, Malkavian, original prints, done by the artists and presented. I see this card is an off cut. I don't know what to really do about that. I don't want to take it off, it is glued. I would love to see what's on the opposite side of it. But as you can see, it's been cut incorrectly, which is probably some type of collector thing as well for um, people that like errors in cards. All right, here's another one. Now, uh, some of the names of these cards have gone uh, past my knowledge, I have to go back and take a look. But another one signed by the artist, fantastic. I think this one might be Grave Robbing, signed by the artist. Now, some of them have things on the back. So, now this is Wizards of the Coast Jai Had Limited Edition Prints by Ed Beard Jr. Uh, 14 of 500. Goodness knows how many of these actually exist in the world now. But this was number 14 of 500. Yeah, fantastic. I don't have a year on this, but probably, you know, late 90s. Look at this one. How gorgeous is that, eh? <laughs> yeah, I think it's some type of puppy farm. Oh, this vampire eludes me. But a print signed by an artist. This is Tortured Confessions. You know, honestly, I never appreciated the art on this one. And... Honestly, from what I remember, it was a rubbish card. Couldn't use it in games, but I'm really glad I've got the print. The Siamese. Now, with this one, when I put this up, now, what... Right, I've got a signature right across here. I'm probably going to put the actual card for the Siamese there and get that presented. This was obviously in a folder. I'm not sure whether I want to put it in a folder or hang it up on a wall. So... That's something I've got to come across. Torn Signpost, such an iconic card and still a major player in the game. So really happy I got that one. That's almost a large postcard. Cannot for the life of me remember which card this is. But it's a fairly nice print in itself. Uh, reminds me of Le Bon, but it's got a very Le Bon-ish type feel. I haven't actually, let's just do this live on camera because I haven't done this yeah, let's take a look at the back. Ah, Static Virtue. 
is what it's named. I don't see its signature on it, but it is an original or looks to be some painted print. I'm going to get in touch um, with the person that sold me these things, just with some questions in regards to individual prints. Now, this is um, Churgan Hall, a Gothic building in nondescript European city that serves as a meeting hall for all vampires. Now, that one's got signature down the bottom. I believe it's an original print. If I go to the back, there we go. We've got, um, this is to certify that this is the original painting for the card Churgon Hall. How fantastic is that? This card was produced for the game expansion Vitesse 3rd Edition. So this was 2006, so 14 years old. Fantastic, an original print. I'm so happy, glad to have that. I'm thankful. All right. We're starting to get into other things. A player's kit. I never even knew this existed. This may have been a US only thing. I'm not sure. But it's got third edition stuff in there for the player's kit. You know what? I may have missed this. I may have just got the booster boxes and not concerned myself with it itself. I've got this sealed packet of cards. Wargle. I was after so many of these when I was playing. I could not find more than... There were one or two that I had. I had a mate that had nine for some reason. He doesn't know how he got them either. But these look to be like promo cards. I'm not sure. I am going to uh, get in touch with him to find out. Now I do have counters here. Flash grenade counters. Very good. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? Look at this. Mind's Eye Theatre. Laws of the Night Revised. The Grand Masquerade. How fantastic is this book and what beautiful condition this is in. Could believe it. I remember this front photo. Yeah. A lot of good games playing the masquerade. So this was live action role playing for Vampire. I remember this book so well. Fantastic. All right. Then we have, I had never even seen this. This is a preview 1995 book. Yeah. Now, if I can get the camera angle right, so I'm going to get it right in there, move it down. There we go, people. Just so I can open the book. Look at this beautiful gold, gold lettering. Talks about the vampires. Now, the game itself now has moved on to very modern type look and feel for the graphics and that. Look at the graphics that we used to have for vampire. I'm sorry, but the game does not cut it at the moment when we have artists such as this back in the history of the game. This is a fantastic resource to see where the game came from and what made it big and why it was so big. Just the feeling that it gave, the just everything about it was so gothic compared to now, which is, I feel, more contemporary. But this was amazing. Back in 1995, this is where it was at. All right, let's keep going. Now, I've got a, another poster. This one's of that girl at the doorway. Very good. There was another poster. I hope I've got it in here. All right. So, this one is just a mini poster. Learn to play and a free um, just advertising that we play vampire at a particular store this one is pretty amazing and wait till you see it so i'm going to try and get this whole thing on camera now on one side it's got your vampires such as theo bell over here plus some other vampires i'm trying to get this into the light proper but on the other side is what i'm going to display in a frame look at that guys how fantastic is that poster? Pretty much sums up, well, I would think that's a Sabbath gathering, but who knows, yeah? I think a Sabbath gathering may even be uh, bigger and worse than that. Looks, to be honest, like a Toreador type gathering. Yeah. What a fantastic poster to put you in the mood for both our role-playing games and um, our V-Test games. Now, this one is Quetu, the evildoer. Signed. I had to really look for that signature, but it's signed there. Now, I don't... Now, is that Lawrence? 
I have to find out. No, yep, it's Lawrence Snelly. So the artist actually signed this card. Fantastic. I might have to put it in another case. I think this one is too big. And if I do this, you can hear the rattle, yeah? So the card still moves around in that. Now, I got one of the edges. Now, if one of my players wants that, this is impossible to find. I have one myself. I thought I lost mine. I went looking for another one. Could not find it. So I know how rare these things are. So if the player wants it, you know who you are. Um, yeah, just believe me that it was impossible to find. Now I've got a whole stack of these. These are actually letters. How fantastic are these? Malkavian ones. If I could just imagine a real fan of the world of darkness wanting a real gothic wedding, sending these things out. Yeah, no, they are just fantastic. Now I've got another set of them over here, which is just Nosferatu, as you can see up the top here. Exactly the same thing with the Nosferatu symbol on the back. I really wish I had one for each clan, but you know what? I've got two, I'm happy with two for now. Got this lady that appeared in the book just before. And this just seems to be a postcard, yeah? Did not even know these existed. How great is that? We've got writing pads. Oh, I've got Malkavian and Nosferatu on these. So maybe they're the only two that came out, who knows? But these would have been things such as invitations to games, etc., or for just general stationery. I've got this beautiful playmat. Now this seems to be, it's very thick. I thought there was two of them, but there's only one. It's been cut out and this beautiful design. Let me go down a little bit. Yep, get the whole thing. So yeah, it tells you who your predator and prey is. You can put your edge here, your cards along there, and this is your uncontrolled region. I love it. It's so nice and just something special that I've never really seen before. And I don't really think much of it when I saw it on the picture, but having it in hand is so good. Now, the man's wife actually made these. If you can see this, this is a 3D um, box. So they've taken a whole bunch of the cards and cut them out to make a 3D card. That is absolutely amazing. Once again, I didn't really know what this was until... I received it. I love it. Uh, there's nothing much more I can say about it. It's fantastic and so much work has gone into it. I'm really happy to have that. And I also have one for Power Base Chicago as well. How good is that? Last thing that I have, which I have very little idea about, is the signatures on these cards. So each one has a signature. I'm not sure if, like this one's by Ken Meyer, if I can get that. So that signature looks like Ken Meyer 96, so 1996. So I have to take it that, see this is Lawrence Snelly, but that's not Lawrence Snelly's signature, that's Jeffrey Thompson. So I need to find out more about that. This one doesn't seem to, oh, there we go. 8 of 50 AP. Oh, look at that. I did not realize that. Right, these don't have the backs on them. That's really strange. I think these might be original cuts for actually testing out the game, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. That is amazing. Like, I never really... And they're all different numbers of 50. So, wow. I do have to get in touch with the seller in regards to that. That's 238 to 50. Let's see what those two cards are. See, they're different cards. All right. And the AP, I'm not sure about. So I'll find out about that. This person was a playtester. Hadn't been playing the game much after various playtesting. I believe that's a signature right across there. LA Williams. Yeah. L.A. Williams, oh, Camille Devereaux, probably the hottest vampire throughout the whole Jihad range. Yep, Jihad card. Yeah, fantastic. What a fantastic card to have signed. And then I've got this one. Most likely, it says Atlanta 2011. 
This is uh, Mark Pool, and I believe that's his signature as well. Now, a lot of these signed cards I'm possibly going to be putting into. Let me just get another one. Sorry about this weight, guys, but I might be putting into another one of these. We'll see how we go with um, displaying the cards. But this is cards signed by Mike Rabb. And these were in Australia, so it wasn't hard to pick these up. But I'm so happy I've increased the collection. Want to make almost a museum or just a display of appreciation for people that play VTest to come down and enjoy just not only the game, but also the atmosphere and what's around them. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope... Um, showed you new stuff <laughs> that uh, you've never seen before or made you remember stuff that you've seen in the past look i love this game oh that's not it guys hold on hold on got another tablecloth so we've got two tablecloths here at midian gaming for vampire also got this paris 2010 bum bag or shoulder bag i should say and also got this one, which is more the Indiana um, shoulder strap bag with, um, yeah, getting into it, which, there we go. So I haven't looked through the bag. It should be empty. Um, yeah, that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you on future videos when I look to start live streaming games as well. All right, see you all. Bye-bye.